Hey, y'all. I'm Timpany, she, her. My husband and I are going door to door canvassing for Beta O'Rourke. You must be new here in Texas. We just moved here from California because our state was being ruined. Anyway, we'd love for you to vote for this politician who's just like the politicians who run California. Well, bless your heart. Aw, bless your heart. So, vote for Beto? But isn't Beto some kind of moron? Not according to his official website. It's pretty comprehensive. So, how's it going? Great, I just got another voter. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That house looks promising. I can get that one if you oh. want. Hey, how about we go together? Sure. With our powers combined, we'll get the whole neighborhood to vote Beto. <laughs> what powers? <sighs> hey! We're out canvassing for Beto O'Rourke. Can we count on your vote? No, I'm sorry. Look, I, I got a lot of letter writing to do. Excuse me, sir, you dropped this. Yeah, we gotta go. Don't worry about it. I don't know what to do. Don't. Wait! It's so miserable outside. I wish there was an indoor location we could go to where a bunch of Texans gather regularly. Where we can just do a bunch of canvassing all at once! First Baptist Church? <gasps> so historic. Those are the kinds of things that folks outside the church hey, might need to isn't hear. That? Right. Howdy! Steve and Timpany! Hey, oh, we're just out here canvassing for Beto O'Rourke, and we want to know when's a good time to do that. Yo, why don't y'all just come have a seat? Sure. We were just talking about some of the amazing things that Jesus has done. So to recap. Jesus takes away our sins? Well, Beto's gonna take away our AR-15s. Safety first. And Clay? Yes, he's a miracle worker, and he even walked on water. Well, Beto once skateboarded through a Whataburger parking lot. <laughs> Jesus escaped the shackles of death. Beto once escaped the scene of a car wreck with a blood alcohol level of 0.134%. Yeah, and that's twice the legal limit. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank y'all for coming, and be sure to stay for the potluck. Potluck? As usual, I'm going to stick around for a spell if anybody's interested in hearing a little more about Jesus. <laughs> I suppose we could stay for the potluck, but remember, no meat. Steve? Steve? Steve! What are you doing? Babe, did you know the only thing we contribute to our salvation is the sin that makes it necessary? I don't get it! Vote for Beto! It's gonna take all of us! This is foolishness. What? That's his campaign slogan. I can't help that it's stupid. <laughs> this eternal life thing. Hey, babe, I'm sorry about earlier. Just got carried away, you know? You're just so impressionable. And it's something that we have to pay attention to because you can't just do something just because somebody tells you to do it. Oh, I see you're reading that book I told you to read. It's good, right? Oh, <laughs> this, so good, just mmm, mmm. It's like food for the soul. <laughs> Why do you have that same look on your face as when I caught you eating meat? What look? Give me that book! Hey, whoa, whoa, you can't be anti-racist taking a book from a black man! Give me that book! Look! Baby. What is this? Two Corinthians? That's not what it looks like. The Psalms? It's like you're trying to hurt me! No, no! <laughs> Babe! Never that. Oh. Hey, we're canvassing for Beto O'Rourke. Can we count on you to vote for Beto? No. Can we count on you to vote for Beto? As you wish. Really? 
No. It's just you're trying so hard, I wanted you to feel good about yourself. I, I hate for people to lose embarrassed. Hey Babylon Bee fans, I have a big announcement that is not satire. We wrote an actual book that has actual drawings with actual humor, and you can actually buy it with actual money. This is the Babylon Bee Guide to Democracy. It's your guide to rigging elections, peaceful protests and insurrections, and more. Pick it up today.